Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7. I'm here to give you guys a video today on the iPad 2 cameras. I just want to start this video off as my coverage for the iPad 2 and just starting off at my um, the camera test. I'll probably have a full review up within the week. But I just want to give a little demo of the cameras. As you can see, I'm using the rear facing camera right now. And just by looking at the screen, it does look a lot grainy. It's really grainy, really fuzzy. So if you're planning to use this to take pictures of something off in the distance, I re recommend doing this. I recommend this for uh, just up close um, shots you don't really care for. Say you're at like a friend's house, you want to record um, them doing some type of skateboard trick or something. This would be perfect. Or you want to watch uh, if you want to uh, remember a kid's birthday, something like that. So this is what this camera is used, used for. And the other thing I have read is that uh, a lot of people don't believe that these cameras are autofocus. These are, I believe, a .8 megapixel cameras on the back. Uh, same with the iPod Touch 4. And they do autofocus. So if I go over to my iPhone 4, which I have right in front of me, and I tap on the screen, it does bring the iPhone 4 in the focus, but it doesn't do a, as good of a job as the iPhone 4's um, rear facing 5 megapixel camera would be. So that is my uh, rear camera test. Um, so I'm going to switch over to the front facing camera and this, I'll show you guys what that's. Alright, right now I'm filming with the rear, the front facing camera with the iPad 2. I do have to say this is a little bit better than the back facing camera. I'm Actually, this doesn't look that grainy as it was. It actually looks in the focus. I think the main drive for the iPad 2 was the front facing camera. I don't think the rear facing camera wasn't really something they had to add, but it's a nice um, feature that they added. And this uh, camera is a uh, 640 by 480, uh, 480 VGA, so it is uh, a VGA uh, camera, so just like the uh, iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4. And it is auto focus, so if I wanted to tap somewhere else on the screen, it does auto it does auto focus. So you guys can tell that these are auto focus cameras. And I'm also using the uh, iPad 2 Smart Cover to prop this up a little bit, so things might look a little bit off-centered, but uh, that's to be expected, but it's just the case. So, anyway guys, that was my video. I will have some pictures up at the end. I'm just showing some picture quality of the rear and back cameras, so you guys can check that out. And I, feel I should have a full review of the iPad 2 coming up on um, maybe the end of the week. But I want to ask you guys before I let you guys go, do you guys want to see any particular apps that you want demoed on the iPad 2? I know, I think I'm going to do one of iMovie because I do use iMovie a lot and I think it would be cool to experiment. And I might do GarageBand, but I'm unsure if I want to do any other games. So if you guys want to see anything in particular, post them down below. Yeah, down below. So, um, yeah, so anyway guys, that was basically about it. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. I just want to give an update to my last video. Um, I know I just made an unboxing of the 16 gigabyte wi uh, Wi-Fi iPad, but I just want to update you guys. If you watched my latest video in the last uh, 24 hours of the, of the iPad 2 unboxing, uh, I had an annotation there that that said I returned the iPad, uh, that iPad, and I did. And I just want to update you guys on what I have picked out from the last purchase. I have picked out a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi iPad in white. Uh, the reason I went with white over the black is because the white is just a little more different. I've always been using a black Apple product. Like, I have a, a black iPhone 4, uh, a black iPod Touch. So I just wanted something a little bit different, so that's why I picked the white. And I'm overall happy with it. Uh, there's no um, screen bleeding or backlight bleeding that I've seen, so that's really good on my part. And I just want to update you guys on the last video. The reason I didn't do an unboxing is because I didn't have my camera, and my camera's actually giving me some issues. So, um, I don't really know what videos are going to do, but I do have a spare camera uh, to use in the option. So, there will be a review of the iPad 2 coming out tonight. I'm really happy with it. I just want to give my opinions because I never really gave my opinions on the previous generation iPad. And I think I should make up for it by reviewing the uh, iPad 2. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the iPad 2 cameras video, and I will see you guys in the next video.